Today we are going to discuss about Kocher and Boiler. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. Here you can see both are the figures of Kocher and Boiler. So at the end of this video you will be able to understand features, function of parts, dimensions and specification, working, boiler mountings, advantages, and disadvantages of Kocher and Boiler. So look at this figure of the Kocher and Boiler. This one is the model of the Kocher and Boiler. So this figure is helpful to understand this figure. So let's start with the features of the Kocher and Boiler. So first point, it is a multi-tubular boiler. So here you can see number of tubes are there and so that it is called as multi-tubular boiler. It is called as internally fired boiler because the furnace that is inside of this boiler shell so that it is called as internally fired boiler. Vertical boiler here you can see the boiler shell is in vertical position and so that it is called as vertical boiler. Low pressure boiler so according to the pressure of the steam there are three types of the boiler, low pressure boiler, medium pressure boiler and high pressure boiler. It is stationary boiler because of it can't move from one place to another place. Natural circulation of boiler. Here the water circulates due to the density difference. So that it is called as natural circulation boiler. It is solid fuel fired because in the furnace coal is supplied and at last it is called as fire tube boiler because inside of this tube there is a few gases and so that it is called as fire tube boiler. If the water is inside the tube then it is called as water tube boiler. Now next function of parts. First shell is hemispherical on the top surface so here you can see this is the shell and the top portion of the shell is hemispherical shape and here you can see where space is provided for the steam. Next grate is placed at the bottom of this furnace here you can see where coal is burned. Combustion chamber is lined with fire bricks on the side of the shell here you can see this is the combustion chamber and this is the fire bricks lining that is on the side of the shell to prevent overheating of the boiler because here the temperature of the flue gases is so high so the brick lining is provided to prevent overheating of the boiler next there are various fire tubes here you can see whose one end is connected to the furnace and the second end is connected to the chimney. Next, furnace or you can say firebox lies at the bottom of the boiler. It is the place where all the fuel is burned. Next, chimney is provided for the exit of flue gases to the atmosphere from the smoke box. Main hall is provided for the inspection and repair of the interior boiler shell. Flue pipe, here you can see, is a short passage connecting the firebox with the combustion chamber. Next, dimensions and specification. For shell diameter, 2.75 meter. So this is actually the typical dimension in actual practice can be a little bit vary in the dimension. So here you can say shell diameter is 2.75 meter. Next height of the shell that is 6 meter. Steam generation capacity 3500 kg per hour. So if you run the Kocher boiler for one hour, then you can generate 3500 kg 
of the steam. Efficiency of the boiler is approximately 70%. Steam pressure that is 6.7 bar. Now next, very important part, working of the quaternion boiler. So first, water is supplied to the boiler through this feed check valve. The coal is placed at the grate through the fire hole. The air is entering into the firebox through this atmosphere and fuel is parked through the fire hole. So produce few gases start flowing into the combustion chamber through this flue pipe. Then flue gases passes through these horizontal fire tubes. Next, most of heat is exchanged from the flue gases to the water that is outside of these flue gases by the convection. The steam is collected into the upper side of the shell through anti-priming pipe here you can see which prevents water particle from the steam. Next the flue gases go to the smoke box and then it leaves to the atmosphere. The ash is collected in ash pit here you can see because of after combustion of the coal it is converted into ash and that ash will be collected at the bottom most portion of this boiler shell that is called as ash pit. Now next important boiler mountings although there are so many boiler mountings but I am going to discuss over here very essential boiler mountings. First pressure gauge here you can see it measures the pressure of the steam inside boiler. Safety valve. It blows off the extra steam when steam pressure inside the boiler reaches above safety level. Next, water level indicator. Here you can see. The position of the water level in the quaternion boiler is indicated by the water level indicator. Next, stop wall. Here you can see. Stop wall is used to transfer steam to the desired location when it is required. Otherwise, it stops the steam in the boiler. Blow of coke. Here you can see. It is used to blow off the settle down impurities, mud, and sediments present in the boiler water. So generally blow of coke is used to blow off the impurities from the boiler shell. Next advantages of the cochran boiler. Low floor area required because of it is in vertical position. Low initial installation cost. It is easy to operate. Transportation is very easy for the installation purpose only because of you know that this is stationary boiler. So transportation that is in the sense of installation process. It can use all types of fuel. Generally it is suitable for the call but you can use all types of fuel. Disadvantages. Low steam generation rate that we have discussed earlier 3500 kg per hour. High room head is required for its insulation due to the vertical design. So high room head is required. Next, it is difficult to inspect and maintain. So this figure you can use in the examination. Very simple figure. Here this is one more image of the quaternion boiler to understand the construction and working. Here you can see brick linings are there to prevent the boiler from the high temperature of flue gases in the combustion chamber. If you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist.
Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.